Well, we've had our biggest month ever. In June of 2023, we received dividends and distributions from eight different positions. Our goal at the beginning of 2023 was to end the year with $40,000 in dividends. We have actually upped that to $60,000. And if you stick around, we'll let you know how close we are to reaching that goal. Yes, welcome back and just go straight to the point. We have a goal, $40,000 per year in dividends and distributions. We just upped this goal last month, I believe. Yeah. And the secret is in Excel spreadsheet that we use, so we know that you're gonna be able to achieve $40,000 per year in 2023. If you wanted to use it, it's free. All that you have to do is, leave, is look on the description of this video and you can download it as well. We also have, this is a special month because it is the highest dividend that you have received since we started tracking those numbers back in 2019. At that time, we didn't know anything about dividend. I mean, we kind of did, but we didn't. Yeah. And we have been learning and sharing our journey to financial independence with you. We also have a new dividend position that this is the first time that we are sharing the numbers and we are so happy so far with our new, what? Choice. Our new choice, yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. And we wanted to share with you. And stick until the end, we are gonna let you know which position it is and the reason behind of using this as part of our portfolio. Why don't we go straight to the point? Did I forget anything? No, it's no? just that this is actually a pretty special month for another reason. It's uh, three years ago this month is when we actually started investing um, for our financial independence journey. Yeah, 2019 was basically pay off yeah. the debt, get everything cleared. But June of 2020 is when we started putting money for the first real, like a lot of our yeah. equity in our Investing. home and yeah. half of mm -hmm. our income, all of that started dumping that into the stock market. I so, did not know that. Yeah, Thank three you. years Thank ago. You. And thanks time. for being part of our journey. So it's because yeah. of you guys and yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you supposed to do now? <laughs> no, it's a dividend. <laughs> Let's talk about the dividends that we received in, not March, February, it's, we are in June. <laughs> yeah, we are in June, June 2023. I'm oh sorry. Oh gosh, it's been a long Let's week, go. guys. <laughs> what is the first one? So the first company that we received dividends from in June of 2023 was Manulife. Manulife paid us a dividend of $730, and year to date we have received $1,460 from Manulife. The second one is Enbridge. Enbridge is part of the energy sector. We have received $887.50. Year to date, $1,775. Yeah. The next one is XAW. So this is an ETF and we don't really invest in this one for the distribution. However, it does pay twice a year. Uh, and in June of 2023, we received distributions from XAW of $404.81. So you combine that with what we received in January, I think was when yes. it was last paid out. Uh, year to date, we've received $681. This one is a growth ETF, not meant for income distribution dividend yes but if cool. you are new investing if you want to see okay what is going to happen a few months ago we created a video every month we basically show you mm -hmm. how we are so if you are new to investing every single month we are using our tfsa actually my tfsa and we do invest 250 dollars every single month mm -hmm. of course we have what we have received so far it does include the yeah. 250 dollars but if you want to see how it is does it make sense to make one lump sum investment? Or does it make sense to, you know, to basically invest every single month? If you go and take a look, and I'm going to look, not look, I'm going to link yeah. anywhere on this video so you can see how we are. Yeah, it was just a bit of a challenge that we kind of started last year. If you don't think you have a lot of money, you actually have more than you think. And just even that little bit every month is really going to make a difference sense. down the road. So that's what that series sort of um, portrays for everybody. Yes. Yeah. If you have not subscribed, good opportunity because <laughs> at the end of this year, we are going to compare 2023 with 2022 and see where we are. Yes. Let's go. I just did it. Oh, it's me. It the next one is <laughs> ITOT. ITOT is... For those, maybe you might have heard of uh, VTI, which is the same as ITOT, of 
different uh, Company, companies, but... but basically it does invest in the total US market. From ITOT, we received $223. It's, this is US dollars. Yeah. Year to date, this is the second payment for ITOT, $499.32. And we don't mm -hmm. do the conversion, so we keep things simple. So one to yeah. one. And that's another growth one. We're not counting on the distributions for ITOT. Yeah. We're counting on growth in that particular fund. So uh, the next one is A&W. This is a position we started at the beginning of 2023. So for, and it pays monthly. It pays a distribution out monthly. So we received $26.78 in June and year to date $80.26. The other one that we received is in a monthly basis. This is we are planning to stop working in twenty at the end of twenty, not in the end. April first, twenty twenty four. Yeah, we shared with you guys. Now I have to remember those things. Go and take a look on the video from the previous from last weekend, last and week. you're gonna see the reasons why. Either way, I'm gonna also put on the playlist. Not on the playlist. I'm also gonna. I'm just confused. I'm so sorry for that. I'm also gonna link somewhere in this video yeah. and you can go and take a look but from H Div, we received seven hundred sixty nine dollars and twenty three cents and year to date it since it does pay monthly four thousand one hundred and ninety two dollars and sixteen cents so another monthly paying um income fund that we've also started so H Div and H this next one, HYLD, we again started that back in December, I think, of last yeah. year, but it's been recently added to the portfolio as well. These are all income-oriented funds. They pay monthly. And so HYLD, in the month of June, paid us $623.84. Year-to-date, $3,097.71. Yes. And we have added a little bit to each one of those positions yeah, i believe so next month there might bit. be a little bit more coming through yes, for those ones yes yeah. everything that you can do to make to save and to invest money we are doing it's not financial advice but maybe maybe if you are starting investing now this might be not be the best option for you if you are start investing yeah. and we have like a long horizon you know in front of you Maybe those two positions, oh, you see those big numbers, or oh, they look good, I'm going to start investing mm -hmm. on that. Think about, you know, your, time, your horizon. time horizon. We are starting to do this because we need to move some of the money to these positions because next year we are going to stop working and we do need the income. So that's why we have yeah. those positions in our portfolio. Yeah. There's a lot of good information out there if you're just starting this journey. Um, but make sure you do your research and make sure you, you invest into what's comfortable for you and your risk tolerance and your time horizon. There's a lot of factors that play into it. So yeah. this is great information. Take it with a grain of salt. It depends where you are in your journey, but this is our situation. Yes. And the last one and the new position that we've had to our portfolio, which one it is? is Pembina. So Pembina is a pipeline company here in Canada and we received $667.50. Yeah. So year to date it's the same amount. So we started this position a few months ago and have mm -hmm. been gradually adding the money that we invest every month is going straight into this position to build yes. it up and then we'll probably start a different position once yeah. we reach the amount that we want to invest into Pambina. Uh -huh. But for now, $667. There we go. Before we share with you the reasons why we decided to invest in Pambina, how much have we received in June 2023? So in June of 2023, our highest dividend payout yes. to date ever is $4,332.66. Good number. <laughs> it's going to come in handy next year. <laughs> it is. It will, it will definitely come in handy. Oh, um, yeah. So, yeah, He's excited. still doubting. <laughs> That's what the pause was. He's like, well, I don't no, know. No, no, no. Uh, I can't complain. I'm just grateful to share the journey with you guys and see you know, how we are progressing and the mistakes that, oh, not mistakes, learning opportunities that we've had, but this is yeah. the new one, Membina. You might ask, why have you decided to invest in Membina? Yeah, so 
again, these are all very personal decisions. And for us, looking at our portfolio, we were heavily weighted into the financial sector. We hold quite a few Canadian banks. We also hold Power Corp, which is considered financial, as well as Manulife. Manulife, which is? Is financial, right? So we were heavily weighted in the financials and we really needed to start diversifying our portfolio. Um, in the energy sector, we had one position and that was Enbridge. Which is also paid this month. Which also paid this month. <laughs> So we wanted to start diversifying the portfolio a little bit. We're growing A&W, which fits into our consumer cyclical section. We wanted to kind of, I don't know, even things out. No, we're never going to even it out, no. but kind of distribute a little bit more across a broad spectrum of different sectors. Mm -hmm. So we decided to add one more energy stock. We chose Pembina One because it's Canadian. So we received preferential tax treatment on those dividends. And two, we did a lot of research um, with 5i. So we've talked about 5i before. Link down below if you want to mm -hmm. check it out. Feel free. Uh, no pressure whatsoever. But yeah. we find it quite useful when we're researching and looking into different positions that we might want to get into. Yeah. Another one that you are thinking about is, uh, what was it? Like, you know, TC Energy, yeah. so TRP. I always kind of remember the ticker symbol, but not even the name, name. of the company. <laughs> Funny. But going through this research, you know, and deciding, oh, they do have like an amazing, you know, dividend yield, which is great. We should go with TRP. But sometimes having a better yield doesn't yeah. mean that this is the best position. At this moment, when mm -hmm. we are deciding, okay, which one should we pick it? We end up picking uh, Pembina. Pembina. So mm -hmm. it's down since we started investing, but this is okay. Yeah. We are not planning to kind of get rid of them being okay. next week. Shocker, we guys, are... everything's down. <laughs> yeah. No. Not everything, but Not a lot everything. of things are <laughs> Yeah. But that's the reason to why we chose Pembina yeah. and we are going to be... I think we're happy up, with right? that. Yeah. yeah, we're happy with that choice. And once we reach uh, the amount that we want to have invested in Pembina, we're going to move on to another position because we have still, what is it, eight months, nine eight months, months before... Yeah. April 1st, 2024. Yeah. So we uh, we want to try and get as much money in there working for us as possible in order to achieve that $60,000 in dividend income. There we go. So why don't we go to the next page? On the next page, we're going to share with you a few extra numbers. If you do follow our journey to financial independence, you can go back and take a look at the playlist and you see, oh, how come these, guy, these guys are in this position or not? You can go back to at the beginning of the... 2021 when we started the channel here mm -hmm. right but if you do go to the website you can see how every single month how we have been progressing uh, on our journey to financial independence so what is the next graphic the dividend snowball <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm all over the place in 20 in june 2020 we had zero dollars invested no we had money we had, invested but oh, we hadn't received, we hadn't any, received dividends. any dividends there you go you are right June 2021, we received $1,178.30. June 2022, though, we received $2,220.81. If we compare 2022 with 2021, we had an increase in around 80%, 80-80%, right? And here we are in 2023, when we received $4,300. $32.66, which it is an increase of 90%, 90, 90, 95%. 95%. Yeah, we've almost compared doubled. Compared with 2022. Yeah, yeah, almost doubled that dividend income. Now, we are reinvesting every single cent that we receive in dividends. Yeah. We are adding as much new money as possible every month. And that really, mm -hmm. it's more than a 50% savings rate, guys. So, this seems like a lot, but we save a lot of money. Like we really do invest as much as we can in order to yeah. achieve these particular numbers. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to be common for everybody, but it is achievable if you live below your means, save as much, earn as much, and invest as much as yeah. you can. Yeah. Stop paying for car finance. We had a car <laughs> finance that we, you know, we don't have it anymore. The money that we are yeah. using to pay the car goes towards the investment. Yeah. As a result, we don't have we only have insurance for one car. Guess what happened? The money that we were paying for the insurance goes to invest. Yeah. We do rent our house here in Toronto. We, so we own the house, but we rent yes, upstairs. Yeah, we yeah. rent upstairs. The money that we receive from the rent, it goes does to the goes to the investment. So 
you just have to figure things out, right? Yeah. Figure different little ways. And it doesn't have to be a lot of money every month. And I think that's where that TFSA video with the $250 that Jayon puts into XAW mm -hmm. every month is really kind of um, informative because even yeah. if you only are able to save 50 bucks a week or a hundred bucks a month, you know, it does add up. It does yeah. make a difference. The biggest learning point it's is to make step. it like get it into the market leave it there and let it grow yes there you go that's yeah. exactly what it is anyways tangent done okay <laughs> next graphic that we're gonna see is year over year how we are progressing 2020 2021 2022 and 2023 go ahead Amur. yeah so you can see it there on your graph right it uh, obviously the first year was quite low because we had just really got our money into the market mm -hmm. so from September until the end of the year, because our money went into the market in June. Um, so the very first dividends that we're gonna receive are gonna be three months into the future. So we started receiving dividends mm -hmm. in September of 2020. So that's why that amount is quite low. But you can see, flash forward to last year, we received $25,847. And already this year, we have received in dividends and distributions $22,303. We're literally $2,500 away from already beating last year's total yep. for the entire year. Mm -hmm. So we upped our goal. We would ideally we're comfortable with $60,000 in dividends a year in mm -hmm. order to live off of that amount. Yep. Um, and right now, where are we? We're about 37% of our way to the goal in actual cash we've received. We are yep. much closer in projected dividend and distribution income, mm -hmm. but we won't spoil that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that we're going to get up there? <laughs> Comment down below. Comment. Can we do it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a big goal, but we just felt that we needed to up that amount in order to not have to worry too much about mm -hmm. running out of money or not being able to do some things that we would really like to enjoy while we're traveling and living elsewhere yeah. in the world. Yeah, and you're gonna make those adjustments as you go, right? So we thought initially that $40,000 wasn't, well, it started initially, <laughs> We are going to be able to retire and stop working in 2028. From 2028, we were able to see, you know, by making mm -hmm. those changes in our lifestyle, we've reduced by four years. Yeah. Now, we thought, oh, maybe $40,000 is going to be enough. You guys know, you have seen in your daily lives, everything inflation <laughs> is going up and everything. We came back from a trip a few months ago. Not a few months, a month maybe ago. one, a month, a month and a half. I go in and you, oh, you know what? The lifestyle that we wanted to have, yeah. I don't think that $40,000 is enough. So we are making those adjustments as we yeah. go. And we know that it's not going to be perfect. You're not going to definitely make more changes yeah, along the way. We're just going to have to adjust. And I think yeah. um, several people, you know who you are, have mentioned uh, ensuring that we have guardrails. So yeah. when things start changing, whether they're market changes or our lifestyle changes or um unexpected mm -hmm. expenses come up <clears throat> excuse me how are we going to adjust our spending in yeah. order to ensure that we stay within budget and i think that's something that we'll get into in another video but we do mm -hmm. have those mm -hmm. um, guardrails in place so we'll talk about yeah. that in a future video. do you have those guardrails in your situation Sh share in the comments below because as we share our journey even though we should share our numbers and all about us is about you so we can Maybe use us as <laughs> guinea pigs. And we are. See how... We're the guinea pig guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how we are progressing. So far, so good. Yeah, I think yeah. we're on the right track. Yeah. I think yeah. we're doing okay. But yeah, we're very excited. So $4,300 in a month in dividend and distribution income is quite an achievement. We're very happy with that. Yeah. Um, and we're well on our way to achieving that goal that we set for ourselves. Fingers crossed we're going to be able to do that. Yeah. So that's the video for this week. We wanted to keep you guys up to date as to where we yeah. are. So mm -hmm. uh, any suggestions, let us know down below. We're always open to new income oriented suggestions, whether they're yes. dividends or ETFs and what have you. So let us know. Thank you. Thank you very much for letting us be part of your journey. We hope that you are well. We hope that you are safe and we'll see you in our next video. Yeah. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, I can Well, we've had our biggest dividend month ever. In June of 2023, we received dividends from eight. I was going to say nine. <clears throat>
the dividend snowball is we are comparing in 2023 how we are progressing year, not year. Year yeah. over year. Yeah, year over year <laughs> for the different months. <laughs> I should go and talk. <laughs> You're doing great. I go know. On. Okay, so... We do have a spreadsheet that we use to share the numbers with, not to share our numbers, but you can <laughs> use the playlist to look, see how we are. But there's a, di uh, oh my God. <coughs> oh. We do use an Excel spreadsheet and that Excel, we do use, and that. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs>